You guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a right triangle with an inscribed circle. And it wants to know what is the area of the red circle. We're also given that this portion of the hypotenuse is equal to four meters, and this portion is equal to 21 meters. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. For any inscribed circle, each of the sides of the triangle are tangent lines to that circle. And using these notes for the tangents of a circle, anytime two tangent lines intersect at a point, this portion will always equal this portion. So if this is equal to 21, this will also equal 21. And the same thing happens up here. If this is equal to four, this will also equal four. And this and this are unknown, but the distance of both of these are equal to each other. Let's call them both x. So this equals this, this equals this, and this equals this. And now we have enough information to do the Pythagorean theorem. It'll be x plus four squared plus x plus 21 squared equals 25 squared. Now the x plus four squared is the same thing as x plus four times x plus four. And when you multiply that out, we get x squared plus eight x plus 16. And then the x plus 21 squared is the same thing as x plus 21 times x plus 21. And after you multiply that out, you get x squared plus 42 x plus 441. And then on the right hand side, 25 squared is equal to 625. Now we can combine like terms. The x squared plus the x squared will give us 2x squared. And then we can add to that 8x plus 42x is 50x. And then the 16 plus the 441 minus the 625 will give us negative 168. And all that will be equal to zero. Each of these terms is even, so let's divide both sides by two. That'll give us x squared plus 25x minus 84 equals zero. Now we can factor this. We can put the x and the x, and then we need two numbers that add to 25 and multiply to negative 84. That'll be negative three and positive 28. Negative three plus 28 is 25, and negative three times positive 28 is negative 84. Anytime you have something times something equals zero, that'll be true if either of those somethings equals zero. So if x equals three, this one will be zero, making the whole thing zero. Or if x is equal to negative 28, this one will be zero, making the whole thing zero. So we end up with x equals three or x equals negative 28. Now looking at the image, x is a positive distance, so it can't be negative 28. So we know that x is equal to three. In the place of these x's, let's plug in threes. And now we know everything we need to know about the triangle. This is a 7, 24, 25 triangle. Now we gotta find the area of the red circle. Let's draw this radius at right angles to this side. And that's gonna occur right here at this point because the tangent line is always at right angles to the radius. And the same thing for this radius to this tangent point, it will also be at right angles. Now we formed a quadrilateral here with three right angles. This last angle is also a right angle. So we have a rectangle. And a rectangle's opposite sides are congruent. If this is three, this side is also three. And if this is three, this side is also three. So the radius of the red circle is equal to three. And now we're ready to find the area of the red circle. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So the area of our red circle will be pi three squared. Three squared is equal to nine. So we can say the area is equal to nine pi. Let's give it a label of meter squared and put a box around it. This is the answer to our question. The area of the red circle in this right triangle with this given information is nine pi meters squared. How exciting. And here's a preview for the next episode. Hey guys, can you solve Downing Street's puzzle? This is a puzzle to see if you can be a disruptor in the government. It says we're given four squares. Calculate the area of the red triangle. Let's see if we can solve it. How exciting.